your head. Made from stitch together flesh, or perhaps a skillful combination of burlaps and leathers. Can I feel your head? Please touch my flesh head. Oh my god, what is going on? How's it going everyone? My name is Lionel and welcome to Dial Town, a phone dating simulator. Do I need to explain any further? You date phones. Let's get into it. Wait, what? Uh, hello. Welcome to Dial Town, phone dating sim. You must now answer this hound's three questions. Uh, okay. Wait, am I me right now or me, right? <laughs> Is there any particular reason you're speaking all caps? All right, let's do. <laughs> okay, let's let's just go for uh, the first one. Do I look sober enough to answer that question accurately? You look like a hound. That's as hurtful as it's accurate, you know. <sighs> all right, now if you shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Uh, sure. Yeah. 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 Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? Oh my god. Uh, my name is uh, Lionel. Let's go with that. Really? That's your name? Oh, Han. I'm so sorry. Hey, what's that supposed to be? I'm just how God made me, dog. Or, ah, no, don't like the response. Uh, I'll go for the first one. No further comments at this time. Anywho, second question. Uh, select a head, phone head or typewriter head. Head selection only affects compatibility with dateable characters and doesn't directly indicate gender. That's the next question. <laughs> Wait, compatibility with dateable characters? Why, if, if that's the case, I guess I'll go with a phone head instead of a typewriter. Uh, okay, phone head it is. Aha, nice. Enjoy having the telemarketers living in your head. Well, I'd rather be a phone than a dog. <laughs> oh God, my greatest burden is remembering where I bury my old Brit sticks at any given time. <laughs> Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. A boy, a girl, <laughs> nuclear bish, other. <laughs> Uh, I love the idea of nuclear bish. My God, I love this. Oh, my God. I, I'm, I'm going to be a baby boy. I'm going to be a baby boy. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Enjoy having the innate ability to open pickle jars, I guess. Oh, that's Dagny Doggo. <laughs> what did I say about calling me? All right, then. Get out of my sight. I am dying. What is this game? I haven't even started. What? Huh. You, a sinful creature. <laughs> Seems I'm alive again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, darn. I hate it when I do that. Oh, man. <sighs> but <laughs> my eggs are firm and ripe. Oh god, must be getting ready to hatch. <sighs> the time for reproduction is now. <laughs> oh man, I must find a dank, dark pit to lay my eggs in. <laughs> what is this? What am I playing? Fairground. <laughs> Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. <laughs> Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. <laughs> yes! I must go to the carnival. <laughs> Mission gain, go to the fun fair. <laughs> what am I playing? I'm at the fun fair. This is not where I thought we'd start a dating sim. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close, yet so far. Mmm. Must gain entry. Must penetrate the fences of mile high railings. <laughs> I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. 
You dang narrator need lay eggs. <laughs> well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it might just work. Mm. Oh God, what is going on? <laughs> oh God, two fur. No refunds. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. <laughs> Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, sir. I will bang the glass. <laughs> How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, do you wish to buy a ticket, sir? That's fine. I don't want to, you know, tick off any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a feet at hole to lay my legs in. <laughs> my eggs, not my legs. Man, what would it be like to, like, lay legs inside of someone? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero dollars. <laughs> oh, man. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? <laughs> no, no, I would not. Ah, shoot. I was so close, too. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that creep who lives in that tent next to the playground at the park? Why am I living next to a playground? Ah! Oh, no, my cover has been blown. <laughs> oh, God. Look, sir. I'm only telling this because your stench is just going to drive away customers if I let you loiter around here uninhibited for any longer. It's Valentine's Day today. Uh, Valentine's Day. Isn't that for romantic people? I am not romantic. I am feral. I am feral. Yeah, but... Did you say that you have eggs to lay or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to lay eggs. Does the sock under my mattress count? <laughs> okay, screw it. I'm cutting to the chase because I can only take about three more dialogue options from you before my head comes bust. <laughs> Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Uh, love? What a God's green earth is that? Is, is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. <laughs> I'm like, ask what's love? Love is, well... Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving for more than just business handshakes and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. I want to drink your nectar, Jerry. <laughs> when two grown-ups are in love, they'll make a joint bank account together and go to the movies together to feed popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. Okay, and then one day, if you're lucky, your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you, but makes 6% more per year than you, and you can finally have a good night's sleep. <laughs> oh my god, Jerry, I'm so sorry. That's love, my scary friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one for couples who are in love. Uh, if you can somehow convince someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know, force them to pay you in like a parasite. <laughs> Granted, it'll take a real mission acquired. Oh, God, freaking must source mate. Okay, uh, go do that. Away from here. Uh, okay, me go now, or just you see, Mr. Jerry Ticket, I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry, are you by any chance free on Valentine's? I will call the police! <laughs> oh no, Jerry, no! Ah! 
Chapter 1, The Fun Fair Date. Ah, oh, God. What is that? What is this intro? My God. Oh, the splash screen. No. Oh, oh. Guys, it's... Okay, I know what I'm getting myself into. I just didn't realize how cursed it was. Uh, 10, sweet 10. To find a well-functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite. You'll have to leave your tent, you know. Oh man, I hate moving even when necessary. Can't I just leave my eggs here? <laughs> oh, I'll do that. Keep in mind, this tent freely occupies a relatively unwatched patch of grass at Dal Town's local park. AKA, you are dangerously close to at least four swans at any given moment while in the squalid tent. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah, Pooh, you're right. I hate it when you're right! Friendly reminder, yeah. You can bring up the main menu at any time using escape key, including during NPC dialogues and during player choices. This allows you to tweak options and save the game at any point. Use this if you want to do something, but feel as so it may get you arrested or killed. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what was that? Uh, okay. We give up on your love quest. Okay, let's leave the tent. Where would you like to go? Uh, actually scratch that. Uh, leave the tent, let's just leave the tent. All right. To the uptown doll town, to the nearby playground, to the park. I f it feels a little sus to pick up someone from the playground, but why not? Why the heck not? Let's go to the playground and see if we find any adults there. Ah, uh, the playground. As long as it can stay exactly 25 feet from the perimeter of the zone of merriment, you shouldn't be legally prosecutable. Oh my god. So, what now? Uh... Oh my god. Summon a nearby kid? <laughs> Wait, what, what do you mean measure the ground? Okay, I'm gonna... Exactly 25.05 feet away. <laughs> Boy fact. You know, now might be a good time to reflect on child labor laws and why you're no longer legally allowed to get any closer to this playground again in the first shot. <laughs> I refuse to learn any lessons. Radio. All right. Summon a nearby kid. Child. Child. Come get around, child. Hello, child. Hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I'm a child. What of it? I'm four foot seven, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to having a grass app on my phone. I uh, take... Wait, what licorice flavor? Oh, God. Kids grow up so fast nowadays. Why, I remember when I was your age. A mere hatchling. Why, my tail hadn't even grown yet. Still waiting on that bad boy to regrow, but once it does... Okay, scary green man. Say, uh, aren't you not allowed to get within 25 feet of this here playground? Joke's on you, you vertically stunted poop lord! <laughs> I measured the ground before summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal, but still legal distance. Ha! Huh. You're less than 25 feet from me right now, so... Nuh-uh! We learned about two-digit numbers at school yesterday, you reptile brain! BS won't work on me this time, bozo! Well, double joke's on you, you little scrot! The law says that I can't get within 25 feet of the playground. Not the little scrotes contained within its confined. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Technically, you approach me. Oh, you approach me, little boyo. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you won't be able to talk to me without shouting. Okay, see you later then. 
Please, no, I need intel. If this is a question about the birds and the bees, then I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. <laughs> Turns out uh, stuff gets nasty when birds uh, have the diddly do. No, it's not that question this time. Then what is it? Uh, can you pay me into a fun? What are the new cool words? What do kids eat? <laughs> What are the new cool words, kiddo? Oh man, cool is the new drool. What you need are some quality slurs. Okay. But, but aren't those bad words? They're too bad for me. Oh no! Oh no! Not on my Christian server! They aren't just the bad words, they're the really bad words. Now, you want some slurs or not? Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I should do this. Nah, who are you to be insulting others anyway? You're a midget. No, I should take him off. So give me the slurs, bless. Now, I'm sure you'll know all the popular ones like calling an inexperienced rock salesman Aladdin or referring to a slightly unfamiliar dog as Groucho. But the mightiest slur of them all Krung! <laughs> oh, I was so scared. It's like a cheat code, but instead of unlocking extra life or more dodge, it just unlocks a particularly painful death. Aw, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, green one. Now, are we done here or what? Uh, uh, what do kids eat? Are you trying to lure my kids away to clean your tent again? <laughs> no. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> now answer the question, you pre poopstain. poop stain. Well, personally, I consume a diet of glitter, modeling clay, chocolate milk, and nuggies, like most kids my age. Huh. You want to write this down? I can't really write. Oh, because you don't have a pen? Sure. <laughs> Home dog, slash man. So, what else do you want, bozo? I really shouldn't be asking this, but can you pay me to the fun fair? <laughs> Are you seriously begging from children now? Have you sunk that low? Uh, it was just a jest, merely a hilarious joke. I was always capable of such things. There is no lower I can sink. No, no, no. Oh God, I know that's supposed to be a lie, but oh God, oh God. It was just a jest. Uh, my bones are still forming and yet I have a more sophisticated sense of humor than you. Please internalize this information thusly. God damn it, kids nowadays. When I was a kid, we just drank lead paint and threw rocks and geese. Ew, that's... Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Is that why you're green? That was green way belong a touch lead paint. But you're right. Had I not been before, I probably wouldn't have turned green afterwards. All right. You done then, bozo? Okay, uh, yeah, screw it. You're dismissed, child. I do have a name, you know. Yeah, and I don't care to learn it. I know your name's Little Billy, but screw it. Be gone, stunted one. You will forever remain a child for as long as people play this game. All right, later, bozo. Uh, man, I will leave the playground. Where would you like to go? Huh. Well, let's see. Uptown, downtown, or to the park? To the park! We shall head to the park. All right, this seems like a lovely place. Ah, uh, the park. You can go roll around on the nice spring grass, unless you mind getting a few discarded syringes stuck in your arm. Oh God, this is so dark. So, what now? Uh, lie down on the grass. It's relaxation time for nose. You have Fred, shut! Well, it's lie on the grass. Ah. <sighs> Isn't this just tranquil? It really is quite serene. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's good to get away from the big city. The one you're only like two yards further away from. 
Yeah, the peacefulness really helps unclench the old sphincter. <laughs> Oh uh, no, what, what is wrong with this game? Why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the grass here is laden with blades, ringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that I... Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What in the world? Oh god! Oh no! What in the world? No! God, my arm! Oh god! Oh poo! Oh no! Ouch. Yeah. I think I see a scratch or two. All right. This is why I hate nature and boo. Well, technically, syringes are completely man-made and used. So like, silence narrator. Yeah, you might want to find a bandaid or 10 for a few of those little screams if you want. Then again, you're penniless and bandages don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but your syringes grow on fields? How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Hiss! Come on, back to the park we go then. This is so graphic. Ew. Oh, God. Let's leave. Oh, screw the park. Oh, let's go to the nearby plague. Uh, let's go to Uptown Daltown. Oh, uh, yeah, going up and down. Up and down. Oh, yeah. Ah, Uptown Daltown. Home of everything and everyone. Oh, cool enough to be in downtown Daltown. Oh, yeah. So, what now? Huh. Summon the local hobo. Hobo of Daltown, I summon thee. Yo. Hey, nice to meet ya, friendo. What is this? <laughs> no. The name's Hound. You need something? Uh, hey, nice to meet you. You new around here? New? Hell, I'm the oldest thing alive. Uh, even older than like a dinosaur? Okay, counting dead things is like cheating and stuff. But yeah, I'm older than pretty much any dinosaur I've ever met. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. Cool. I created everything around you, you know. I farted out the cosmos and the stars and poo. Yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually. Uh, hang on. You, I, I can just be mean. And, you look like a hobo. Those things are mutually exclusive, friendo. So if you're a God, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever like take out a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to bin the box only to find a new species involved from the remains of your chicken and curry from last month? Oh god! <laughs> Kick me, I've got what? This world is my takeout box, and I'm the hangover dude gazing upon infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. Uh, god. <laughs> Just punch God. I can just punch God. I'm gonna punch God. I'm gonna punch God. Oh yeah. You fool. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? I Okay, I appear to have just pooped me safe. Ah, you win this round, green one! I can punch him again! Oh, god damn it. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. Then I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure, yes. <laughs> What's your favorite hobby? You ever eaten broken glass or shiny rocks before? Ew. I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it till you tried it. Uh, you look like you eat broken glass. <laughs> I'm partial to the taste of gravel myself. Oh god. Gravel! What are you, some kind of weirdo? At least for us, for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. 
like broken glass and shiny rocks. See? There we go. <laughs> uh, if you're God, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for all of this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash, knowing me. Uh, so can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Nah, screw that. Why don't you come up with the meaning of life? I'd probably be a million times more coherent than I- than what I could think of. Oh, God. I think the meaning of life is to treat other people nicely. I think the meaning of life is to eat or be eaten. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. I think life has no meaning and you're full of poo! <laughs> You know, I'll be nice. It's to treat other nicely. Yeah. Okay, nah. Screw that. <laughs> That's uninspired three-year-old's best kiss. <laughs> it's more likely to do skateboard tricks and eat, um, uh, eat sex workers or some other drivel to that effect. How is that any more coherent? Hey, I said more likely not coherent. This is my universe we're dealing with. Don't forget. Okay, are you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing in the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? And what is a god to a non-believer? Honestly, no judgment here, pal. <laughs> I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. Oh god, oh god, no. Can you pay me into the fun fair, god? God, how much would that even cost? One, maybe even two dollars. Do I look like I have two dollars right now? Oh my god. Aren't you a god? Don't you control reality? Darn, I guess that's why you're a smelly hobo dog. Yeah, that and I'm just too stubborn to live anywhere that I didn't create myself. But if you're a god, didn't you create everywhere? Well, plants, trees, and poo anywhere outside. Yeah, I can take credit for that, sure. Buildings? Concrete? Don't know what you onions are doing with rock, but it's blasphemy and don't care much for it at all. God doesn't care much for concrete? Oh, God. But you sleep on a street. There's hardly more trees, plants on the street than in, let's say, the park. You ever tried to lie down at the park? I swear, the bench there is the only human leg surface area not covered in used syringes and badger poo. You know, I'm right. Plus, concrete aside, there's dumpsters aplenty around here. Free food whenever you feel like it. Long guns are the days where cavemen will have to hunt squirrels with stone crossbows whenever they get peckish. Raccoons have already figured this out, by the way, and literally just scurry around and eat trash all day. Yeah, they're officially my chosen people now. You guys can learn a thing or two from those little stripey guys. Huh, noted. Okay, uh, can I punch God again? I want to punch God again. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get going. Going so soon, eh? What's the rush, eh? Uh, gotta lay me some eggs. I'm heavily pregnant. Gotta pay child support to that witch I wasted 10 years of my life with. I'm merely grown tired of you. I'm gonna lay some eggs. Oh, hey. You are those reptile fellas that made a few million or so years ago? Not judging, just saying. Oh, man, you guys are weird. Good luck conquering the human race and whatnot, though. They'll never see it coming. Wait. Wait, I'm a lizard man! Ah, where can I even go now? Where would you like to go? Oh, there's plenty of other places I can go to now. You know what? I'm gonna go to the phone shop. I know that, uh, I know I might regret this, but why not? Let's go to the phone shop. <sighs> Let's see. Why'd you wander in here, Lionel? A phone shop of all places. I doubt they do repairs for people who stitch together flesh heads, you know, if that's what you're looking for. I mean, forget the flesh thing. I doubt there's any repairing whatever is up with you as of late. Something wrong, Lionel? The phone. Someone. Someone answer the goddamn phone! 
Hold your horses, sweetie. Hold your horses. What's up? What are you hollering for, hun? Where am I? <laughs> you went to the food shop! Is this heaven? No, wait. This place is too dry for that. <laughs> the river sticks, perhaps. Oh, I get you. Because of all the phone cases. Those ain't skulls, hun. Those are just empty cases. I don't understand. Do you wanna understand? No, I thrive in ignorance. <laughs> oh god. Well, what is this place? <laughs> I don't understand why it's highlighted in red. <laughs> I'm not gonna pick that. What is this place? We're standing in Dalltown Phone Star. Shop near 100 years old for now. Set up by my pa. God rest his soul. Shop initially sold whole telephones, but with them being so common nowadays. Well, we've adapted to fit the current market. Not every purchase has to break the bank, you know. A hundred pieces to sell. Just as good as one complete phone, I find. Same thing goes for most aspects of life, I also find. There's nothing wrong with building yourself up bit by bit. Now, if you want to know about something specific, I'm sure I can oblige. And yes, I know I messed that word up. Pacific. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, tell me about yourself, darling. You want to know about little old me? Well, well, I'm not all that interesting. Just been alive for us long enough to hear a few interesting notions, meet a few interesting people. I'm old if your eyes ain't doing so hot. Sorry, I meant optical sensors or whatever they call it now. The way I see it, if you see with them, they're eyes. Don't matter if your head's a phone, typewriter, or what have you. Anyway, the star ain't much to tell. If life were a story, I'm sure I'd be one of those characters, you know. You know the sort. Just sitting around in the same place all day, just waiting to be found so I could share what I know about our family's little funny world. My father probably would have been a better person to talk to, you know. He set up a shop here a few shakes after the telegram went the way of the dodo. Would you believe my pop sold Callum Crown his first telephone back in 42? We've been in downtown for a long time, all on. In a way, I like to think we're part of history, even if only just. Huh. Well, who's Callum Crown? Oh, you know. I don't know. The inventor. Man who built the very first phone head. Fella became mayor of this air town, then pressy of this air country. Cause this was all just before the worldwide dial up, mind ya. If it weren't for him, we'd still have our old fleshy heads and the world would be nothing like it is now. Huh. Well, uh, did you know Callum, uh, personally? Most of the town did then when I was a little girl. Couldn't avoid the fella when he was campaigning for mayor, then for president. Talked about him was infectious. He knew just what he wanted. He had a vision, a dream. Fellas like him, it don't matter what they do or where they go. They just attract power. Sometimes that ain't the best thing for everyone though. And that's the last I'll say on the subject. Huh. Well, what kind of customers do you normally get in here? All sorts. Healthcare ain't exactly the most affordable, and often enough, it's something small in the head that's acting up. A rusty piece, shot transmitter, etc, etc. So, most people don't want to, or rather, can't afford to go to a dock over every small malfunctioning part. So, that's where I come in, or rather, my sharp and my parts there. With a level head, all it takes is a steady hand and instructions, course, to replace the faulty part. Course, to reach their own. 
I still say people should see a doc for bigger issues if possible. Anyway, that's how things have been for most of my life, but as of recent, different parts sell. Huh. What kind of parts sell now? Cosmetics. Huh. I see a lot of youngins coming down here from time to time looking for whatever pieces I don't need. Slapping on their own heads and bam, you've got a hybrid head. Why? Uh, it's just them expressing themselves. The breaking down of old societal rules, old concepts. See, funny thing is, society seems to be changing with new pe people coming in and old people leaving. Back in my day, you were what others said you were and that was it. Were things simpler back then? Things were cleaner, I guess you could say. You knew your role. But clean a perfect. Just mad folks were suffering out of earshot. Easy to take a beautiful photo when the trash is shoved out of frame, ain't it? Now, folks are speaking up for themselves and people miss the simpler times. But things were never simple for the folks who were speaking up for themselves and change is never pretty. Out of curiosity, what do you think? Huh, I think people should just take what they're given. I think people should seek happiness. That's my belief. I'm glad to hear that, friendo. I've always found the idea of living as something you're not mighty ridiculous, given we have the technology to change ourselves. Humans are just incomplete masterpieces, presuming we truly can be considered as such. And art ain't ever finished. It's abandoned. Don't ever give up on yourself. We can all change. So wait, you were alive before the worldwide dollop? Yeah, when I was a little gal, whole world had flash hits. No phones, typewriters. I mean, we had phones and typewriters around in our homes and businesses, sure. Just not mounted on our shoulders. That would have been considered weird. Huh. Uh, would I have been considered normal without my flash phone head. Well, no, since we didn't have green skin or six nips either. Uh, just no machine it. World was pretty much the same otherwise. I was born in the wrong era. You say that, but in the olden days, you would have been considered a witch or a monster. And in the future, you'd definitely get stopped at alien customs. But I'm considered a monster now. Am I one? Aren't we all just a bit? Gabby, you sweetie. Sorry, you got any more questions to ask? Uh, how's this place still in business? Selling telephones seems a bit like selling air, you know? Half of all people have telephones built onto their shoulders. Well, like I said when you first came in, I still move phones, don't you worry. Just piece by piece. Just gotta know how to adapt. Speaking of actually selling pieces. Huh. Can you take me to the fun fair, please? Believe me, hon, I'm flattered. But, nah, got a store to manage, I'm afraid. Oh, gosh, damn it. Oh, is it me? Nah, I mean. Look, hon. I'm sure you'll find someone who's ain't whatever it is that you are. Keep searching. God knows I find weird customers in here. If you know where to look for them. I know one will be bound to take you, so don't give up. Oh, gosh. <laughs> it has to be you. I crave elderly romance. My God. But, you know, I'll be nice. Thanks for the encouragement, Gabby. Yeah, yeah. Now, you gotta buy something or... <sighs> Fine. Thanks. Alright. Take care now, you hear? Well, I could summon Gabby again. Oh no. Let's leave the shop. Yeah. Let's head back out into town and see. Let's go to the local cinema, I guess. Man, wait. I don't have money to go into the cinema. What am I thinking? What would you like to do now? Summon an employee! Heck yeah! 
Oh, hello there. Hey, sir. Welcome to... Hang on, just a jiffy. Green skin, five, no, six nips. Your head, made from stitch together flesh, or perhaps a skillful combination of burlaps and leathers. Can I, can I feel your head? Uh, okay, but be gentle. I'm delicate, or please touch my flesh. <laughs> Please touch my flash head! Oh my god! What is going on? Sick! Oh, he's touching my head! Oh my god! Hey, look! I know this might be kind of forward, but... You know that it's Valentine's Day today, right? Uh, let's see... No, this is the first time I'm hearing of this. Yeah, the first meatless is <laughs> I'm well aware, yeah. Well, I was just wondering. Would you like to perhaps, you know, go on a date with me tonight? Oh, go with you on a what now? Huh. A date, you know, hanging out with me tonight. Romantically. I'm surprised I did not see this eventuality coming. This is an awfully common event. Give me one reason why I wouldn't want to ask you out. I've got about six reasons. <laughs> they're all my nipples. <laughs> oh god, and they're green! I asked for a reason why I wouldn't ask you out. Not for six perks for doing so. You... <laughs> You're a strange little goblin man! You like my nips? Yeah, they're freaky! Groovy, even. So, how about it? Oh, God. Uh, yes, take me now. Take me now, Oliver. Stellar. Now, I'm not dead set on this happening in any particular venue, so it is anywhere you want a fun fair. Aw, oh, man. You want to go to the fun fair with me? Gnarly. I haven't been there in forever. I I need to state this for legal reasons, I'm sure. This might be less of a purely romantic engagement. And more of me laying my eggs in a fun fair kind of arrangement. Wait, you're... Are you an egg layer? As I certainly hope I am, I'm not emotionally ready to give birth to puppy. <laughs> As far as I know, the thing struggling within my swollen gut seems perfectly round. Oh god. I I'm gonna go for the first one. Dude! I mean, I love puppies as much as the next fella too, but... Whoa! I can't believe I... Okay, look. I'll cut you a deal. I'm kinda working on a movie right now. See, this place ain't doing so groovy right now on account of a few disturbing rumors about the building. What, are there dead kids inside animatronics? But I'm hoping that producing a film here, here in Dalltown, and then hosting some sort of gnarly premiere will blow the lid off just how gnarly this place truly is. And you know, save the business, most importantly. Having footage of genuine eggling when it takes place right here in town, no less, why? I could see this movie having a truly bodacious premiere! You want me to lay eggs on camera? Yeah! Alright! Maybe it does sound a, like a lot, you know. But you'd be doing us a major solid. Plus, those eggs have to be laid anyway, right? And you are looking for someone to pay you in! This is like symbiosis and junk. So I'd be a star? In the same way your average adult film star or local raving lunatic caught in camera in an internet viral video would be. Yeah. You need someone to take you. And I need a performer. We can kill two condors of white trident. Uh, well, uh, okay, fine, I'll do it for my future offsprings. <laughs> uh, this sounds kind of hot. Uh, wouldn't I lose my anonymous? 
<laughs> okay, you know what? That sounds hot. I'm in. Oh, yeah. Groove Tackler. Truly radical. All right. So, thing is, got a little more time left on clock before my shift officially ends. How long, Oliver? Precisely four minutes. <gasps> How will I occupy myself for four whole minutes? Well, you can always take a quick look around, see what the cinema has to offer. We run a tight ship here, and it'll all be tighter for being stuck together by the mystery adhesive this place seems to secrete. Mystery adhesive? This is an extraordinarily sticky premise. Yes, I could tell. It feels like I'm walking underwater with the sticky carpet. It feels like the carpet is trying to make sure I don't leave. <laughs> oh, yeah, it does that. Doors occasionally close and lock it themselves to stop people from getting out. The place needs company, hence why I sleep on the floor sometimes. Huh, how do you pry yourself off the carpet in the morning? With extraordinary difficulty. <laughs> okay. Go get to know the place. I'll meet you outside in four minutes. Oh, gosh. Uh, sh right on, daddy. I'll see you then. Aw, oh, man. I'm digging this crazy slang. Catch you on the tan, dog, man. Pardon! <laughs> oh, man. What in the world? Oliver is such a sweetie, though. Ooh. Movies this way. Okay. No refunds. My tails are on the house. Generic remake 17. You like the story before? Maybe you'll like it better with CG? I don't care for this place very much. Why is that, dear narrator? Okay, so like, this place is obviously incredibly haunted. No, not the yes! It is extraordinarily haunted. Oh man, what makes you think that? Look. The walls are bleeding. Okay, we don't know that for a fact that it's blood. It could be ketchup for all we know. You consider the wall seeping ketchup from its pores honestly any less abnormal. Okay, fair, but hey, like it's free ketchup for the guests. Like heck, you get a hot dog and they forget to put on like ketchup and mustard and all. Like heck, you just swipe it against the wall and then like take a big bite out of it. But it could be some kind of jam or nectar too. I would love to have some nectar on me. None of those are normal substances for a movie theater wall to secrete. Well, whatever it is, there's only one way to find out. Oh, please don't. I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm begging you. Don't lick that. Worry not, it could be jam. Wall jam is not good jam. I've made up my mind. Okay, it is blood. <laughs> but it's not my blood, so I care very little. In fact, I'm relieved. It's blood, so. Yeah, but it's not mine, so... Why should I care if it hasn't been stolen from my body? Perhaps I should have known. It's the wrong color anyway. You really don't get this, do you? What I don't get is why I shouldn't just go somewhere else. You know, just to shut you up. Fine, fine. Besides, I'm sure there's hardly anything more unsettling than literal blood on the wall. Okay. Childer! Two of them! They're just staring right at you. Yeah, kids do that. I don't like their energy. They're evil, Lionel. Evil! You want to attempt communication? I don't speak Latin. Nor crayon. Uh, wait. Do kids speak Spanish? These particular ones might just speak the same tongue as you and me. Whoa, no way. Say something to them. Hey, children, I... How would you like to clean my tent? Why is this always your go-to? Come play with us. Okay, screw this. Let's get out. No, no. Let's hear them out. What games do you want to play, deal children? Would you like to play uh, clean my tent? I don't know. A word search, maybe? <laughs> Sorry, no can do. I'm kind of illiterate. Feel free to complete it on your own, though. Okay, we understand thoroughly. <laughs> Have a nice day. Oh, there goes the ghost childer. Oh, man, what in the world? Ah. 
I had no idea kids nowadays could Gaussian blur like that. Can we please just leave this accursed place? Fine, fine. I reckon a good four minutes has passed anyhow. Ah. Hey, uh, Pell. You were gone for a good six minutes. Figured you might have just skedaddled, so to speak. So, how'd you find the place? Huh, stickier than my tent. Didn't know that was possible. You ever been to Chernobyl, perchance? Whoa, so the two-headed cinema chicken sightings are legit. Rad! <laughs> Wait, there's a two-headed chicken? Why have I not seen that? Blaha, did you see that? Okay, just freely roaming your place of work. According to three sources, one of which is you. Yes! I can never seem to spot a damn thing with how quickly it scurries around. But man, it sure does a groovy job of cleaning floors of discarded floor corn after hours. I guess that'd also explain what's been eating our mice. You guys have mice too? Well, no whole ones anymore, thanks to the chicken, evidently. Anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to get going. The way I figure it, the sooner we get this footage done, the more time we'll have to enjoy ourselves. Oh gosh. Uh, egg laying takes time, my dear Oliver man. You can't rush perfection. You want to spend time with me after the laying? <laughs> oh gosh, let's, let's do- I'm gonna go with that. Of course, man. I love fun fairs, dude. Even with our fun fairs particularly high mortality rate. Hey! Where else could you get launched from a spinning crab arm at uh, half the speed required to break the sound barrier? Nice! I reckon those Viking chaps had it right, giving you an awesome afterlife if you die in a particularly gnarly way. Funfair accidents have to be an alternate way to get to Fonhalla. Anyway, let's just get going. We can continue chatting on the way there. Oh, wow. You know, I'm aware of the Funfair's two-for-one ticket going on today, but I sincerely doubt you're allowed to just back onto my subway ticket. Unlike the funfair, this concrete jungle holds no love in its pores. Just damn, which I doubt can even be considered much of an emotion at all. Uh, you sure I feel quite damp right now? Oh no! <laughs> oh man. Right, and you smell it too. <laughs> Honestly, it's gnarly. I've never met a non hirsute creature that smelled like a wet dog before. Maybe it's the dog food I ate this morning? <gasps> Whoa, you eat dog food? Ate whatever's in the trash, man. Today, dog food. Whoa, groovy! Hey, if it's good enough for a sickly beagle, it's good enough for my gut, eh? On a side note, thanks for agreeing to do this again. I know you're benefiting from this too, but believe me, you're doing us a major solid. It's my pleasure, Olive Man. Oh yeah. No idea if me squatting grunting on camera is gonna help a whole lot, though. Believe me, it will. Honestly, the rumors going around about the joint. Mr. Dickens is where the joint mightn't still be in business come this time next year. Mr. Dickens? Oh, Mr. Dickens is my boss. Yeah, he owns the cinema I work at and always has. He's a top-notch guy. A real class act. Old British chap, full of vitality. He built the very cinema I work at back in the 1960s as a young entrepreneur. Are you close to him? I sure as heck am, daddy-o. Oh, I love it when you call me daddy. I was only a starry-eyed lad. A mere manlink when I got my job at a cinema. Taught me everything I know about being a man. I don't understand. Right, right. You haven't met Mr. Dickens. He has impeccable style, you know? Wears his old suits, use old British word terms, always keeps a level head. But you say you learned everything from him, right? Right. But you don't talk like a pirate, nor constantly mention fish and chips. <laughs> well, no. See, Mr. Dickens' last piece of advice for me was... There's nothing better for a man to do than to be an individual. Tally ho! <laughs> did you add in the tally ho or did he actually say it like that? I honestly can't remember. 
<laughs> anyway, I have to find my own path, wear my own clothes, use my own outdated and friendly, underrated slang, daddy-o. When we get back, I'll definitely introduce the two of you to each other. In a way, you kind of remind me of him with the whole doing your own thing, regardless of others laughing or being repulsed by your thing that you've got going on. Oh, normality is overrated. Take it from me. I've never seen a happy person in a suit. Rebuttal! Weddings! You think they'd let me anywhere near a wedding? Well, what if you were to get hitched? Is that something you'd ever want to do? Unless it's to a big titty giraffe downfall. <laughs> That's honestly a response I didn't see coming. Well, I've got my reason not to. Such as? All the usual reasons. I'm not exactly prime ribs, you know. Green skin, a few too many nipples, stitched together a fleshy phone head. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about that, actually. No, I was nowhere near phone Kennedy on the date off. <laughs> My nipples can only shoot so far. I... <laughs> That's an absolutely riveting diversion, but no, what I meant was... Your phone head. Did you construct it yourself? That's quite a personal question. I know, I know. I should know better to ask, but... I've never seen one so different before. It's a custom, I guess you could say. Huh. I don't know if you built it yourself, per se, but how far back was the bell mechanism placed relative to the vestigial cord adapter? That's quite a specific question. All of you to assume I understand any of these fancy schmancy words? Sorry, I guess I'm just technically minded. Always enjoy dismantling stuff, then putting them back together. Rare for an artist, I suppose, which is why Mr. Dickens gets so much use out of me. I know how to load reels into our machines and what ought to be on them. Hell, I'm the only one Big Bertha lets perform maintenance on her. She's our movie projector and boy is she temperamental. So, Dickens keeps you busy then. Well, yeah, but that's how it's gotta be when you work with the public, I suppose. Of course, you do tend to get customers that... Sorry. I shouldn't batmouth customers, especially given how dire things have been lately, financially speaking. Nonsense! The beans! Spill them! Spill them all over me! I crave gossip! Oh, alright, alright. I guess it's not like he ever buys anything from us, but anyways. We have this one little poop stain. His name is Billy. Little Billy! You know that brat? He ratted on me to the police! Got me done in for child labor laws! Oh man, that's not cool. I'm sure the judicial system's incredibly biased towards green people. I sprayed in the courtroom. What do you mean you sprayed in the courtroom? Did you sploosh all over the courtroom? No! Oh god! It's a god awful state of affairs. Yeah, this kid, this fink, he just. We have a rule at the cinema. It's one of my bosses, obviously. The customer is always exempt from violence. That rule complicates dealing with that yard high snot nosed brat. Little Billy doesn't know reason. He simply wishes to watch the world burn. Thank you. Finally, someone else who sees it. I swear, that rug rat gets his kicks from inconveniencing me just because he knows that I can politely ask him to leave and retort. Because if I put my hands around him, no more job. It sucks! The wee guy can bring in a megaphone, skateboard around, running amok, hitting out of customers in the ankles with his board. Yet, I can only use words when dealing with the situation because he's a child! He's not a child. He's some kind of fun-sized demon. It sucks being an adult and having to use other children to settle disputes by proxy. Because if I drop kick a child, oh boy. Screw kids getting too soft. 
Half of them are armed. I'm afraid of the idea of having these poop heads everywhere when I get old and end up defenseless like a tortoise stuck on its back. Well, when I get to that point, shoot me in the stomach. Why did you just pluralize the word stomach? No reason. Sick. Oh, hold on. I think we're near the outskirts of town. You ready to get off? I'm ready to get off all over you. Well, I'm either laying my eggs here or there. Given the option, I'd rather dare. Yeah. Plus, I kind of want sole ownership of the footage till the movie is finished. After all, I'm hardly going to get many butts on the seats if some hipster has the whole gory ordeal uploaded for free on phone to now, am I? Wait, is that like... Is that a adult fun time site? Are you happier not knowing? If the answer is yes, it is an adult video site, then yeah, I most certainly am. I'll just not specify in that case. <laughs> oh man, now I know which answer was the correct one. Are people going to be aroused by this? Hey, gotta drag the monster enjoy a crowd in somehow, right? God damn. Oh god, not like that's me. It's not like that's me. Yeah, what's up? Hi, me again. Just serve you up a little final one-time reminder. You can access the menu at any time during the escape key if you need to change any settings or save the game at any time. Also, to make a completionist playthrough easier, I've added this baby at the top of the screen. It appears every time a route diverging choice appears, reminding you to save at that moment. It means you can reload and get another ending, allowing you to try other endings without any backpedaling. Thank you, and don't forget, better safe than sorry. That's... thank you. Sub Jerry? Take a jury! No! Yes! A deal is a deal, you festive gate blocker! I win! Why did you? How did you? I didn't think you'd actually... Of course. Of course, it'd be Oliver of all people! I reiterate. Sub Jerry. Oliver? Why? Why would you? I don't get what you're insinuating, Jerry. Why on earth would you take him here? I think a better question is, why on earth would not, dearest Jerry? Oliver, he's got green skin. I know! Isn't it gnarly? Man, I love Oliver. Oliver, he's got six nipples! Six for the price of two! What a bargain! <laughs> His head is clearly comprised of stolen skins all stitched together crudely. Crude? I like to see your needlework, ticket man. You shut up. Oliver, he only asked you here so he can lay his green eggs somewhere on the funfair grounds. Ah, I know, and I'm totally into it too. I even brought a camera so I can film it uh, in its awe-inspiring ooze-tackler depravity. Dear Lord. Of course. Uh, of course it'd be Oliver of all people who'd be into this. What can I say, Jerry? It's hip to screw monsters. Yeah, Jerry! Like, take it from the man! Now, how about two tickets for me and my adoring talent? The tickets! Cuff them up, pretty boy! Fine. That'll be $2 then. Oh, heck yeah. All right, Lionel. You ready to go inside? Oh, gosh. If only you hold my moist green hands or encouraging ape noise. <laughs> oh, no. <gasps> encouraging ape noises. Hey, can you try and make those noises during the laying itself? <laughs> I think I'm gonna vomit. I am dying. I am dying. Oh man, I haven't been here in forever. Oh gosh. I 
I've never had fun before because of the danger. You know, I I'll go for the latter option. Well, Chief, you've come just to the right place then. Nowhere else can an adult man be hurled at 300 or so miles per hour by a giant metallic crab claws. Operated slowly by an untrained and probably morbidly stoned teenager, no less. Oh, you're right. That's a truly indigenous experience. So, where do you want me to stand? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, for the footage. You are gonna lay eggs, right? Well, not now, Oliver. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Um... All right, how about now? What, out in the open? Amongst the common rabble? I think not, pervert. Sorry, sorry. I just presume since you're like heavily pregnant and whatnot. Okay, how about this? How about we go frolic, have a groovy time, then you can let me know when you're about uh, down for us to get shooting. It sounds quite agreeable, yeah. Fun. Very much so. Yes. Oh, damn. Oh, gosh. I'm enjoying my time out. Oh. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, I haven't had those in forever. Oh, man. I need some of that. Oh, we're holding hands. Oh, no. Oh, my heart. My freaking heart. Oh. All right. All right, here's the spot. What do you mean? This! This is the perfect spot to lay your eggs. I see. No, no. Listen. Accessible location, spinning distance from the hot dog stand, just off the beaten path, enough to be avoided by civilian foot traffic and or ride operators. And best of all, lots of disturbed dirt for you to just bury your young in order to conceal them from potential predators. Ah. Uh, Oh god! <laughs> Do I normally lay eggs in water like a frog? I can't remember. <laughs> Wait. Are you an amphibian? I've seldom tried to drown myself, so I'm not certain. Hey! That's fine! I could just pour a couple of uh, two liter bottles of cola into the mound. There'll be plenty aquatic. Right, then the sun bakes the soda into the mound and it'll get all sticky. Oh god, that's so bad. How are my kids supp supposed to survive the hatch? Already stuck in the ground. I mean, this location has other perks too. Like good lighting to film with a camera. I see what this is. <sighs> You've even got that little stage light set up. Oh, come on. It's not like that. It's just... Well, we did make a deal. One ticket for one filming. Come on, man. Don't hold out on me. Oh, God. It, is that the only reason you brought me here? Fine, fine. I'll just lay the... Is that the only reason you brought me here? To use me for my egg-laden entrails? <laughs> Where's this coming from? Isn't the only reason you brought me here to use me for a free ticket? I thought the deal was fairly cut and dry. Well, maybe feelings change. Maybe I've grown attached. Okay, look, I... I mean, we can talk about... I thought you loved me, Oliver. No, it's... <laughs> not like that at all. Groaning. Arrgh, I'm near. Okay, I look. Right now, we're all tangled up in contract. Maybe we should just. If you lay your eggs, we can discuss the footage. I. I'm worried we'll miss the laying. This thing only has so much battery, and if it weighs, and then you lay the. Times of the essence here. None of this adds up. Why on earth do you care if the cinema shuts down? When you get paid low wage and get mistreated by customers. Your story doesn't add up. Okay, no, look. Only I hold dominion over my gut, Olive Man. Protective ape noises. <laughs> oh my god. Oh 
them. Oh, okay, look, you've got the wrong idea. I don't... Protective growling! Okay, compromise. Let me film the lane as we agreed, and then I can explain myself fully, you know? Finish my explanation in full. If you're not content with my explanation for literally anything, I'll delete the footage and start again from scratch. You promise? Think you swear, daddy -o. All right, then. I guess I better. Ha! Huh! Oh, God! Ha! Huh! Ha! Huh! All the eggs! Oh, God! Did you get it? Every oozing second. They also got them all in the hole. Even without ample preparation. Very impressive. Thanks. I'm a master of steering my own butt. Oh, God. It helps that my swollen butt was already so close to the ground, I guess. Oh, man. I'm a master of the cake. Years of expertise. You know it, hon. Right now. Explain yourself. Fully. Why do you care so much about some biohazardous cinema's closure? Why go through all this trouble? Okay, okay. Look. I've truly explained the basics to you. Definitely. The theater is dying due to the rumors about the place being haunted. But it's greater than that, truly. Our cinema, each and every cinema, in fact, is destined to go the way of the dodo at this rate. All the cinemas? What makes you say that? Same reason that video rental stores and the creepy mustachio dude selling bootleg VHS tape doors the door died out. Spinning disc players? What? No! The internet. Isn't that the cat meme database with adult videos? <laughs> yeah, but now they've got videos. Non-adult fun time ones too. They've got entire sites dedicated to just showing movies. And with directors beginning to just put their movie straight up on there without even considering physical theaters. Well, why would people even leave their own familial hovels when they could just watch the same movie even cheaper online? So why do you care? This just sounds like advancement, evolution. It's more convenient for everyone. It's not like that. The cinema employs me and Mr. Dickens. You can just... Get a job on one of those sites. You say it yourself. You're technically minded. You'd excel at it. It's not me that I'm worried about. It's Mr. Dickens. He's old. Send his ways. He's extraordinarily savvy at running a physical business, but I know he wouldn't bridge the gap. The physical silver screen is all he knows. Truth is, as much as I love the cinema, it's Mr. Dickens that I feel truly indebted to. He's given me so much, taught me so much. He's like a father to me. He told me once that showing movies to the role has been his dream ever since he was my age. If his dream dies, a part of him dies too. I can't allow that to just happen. Not sitting down anyway. I know we can get people to come back. If we can just release something truly engaging. Something new. Something people can't find anywhere else. I know people would love to hear a new story. Even if it's weird. If it's the one they could connect with. Look. This footage. I'm not just asking you to do this for me. I'm asking you to do this for Mr. Dickens and his dream. I know it's a lot to ask, to allow yourself to become vulnerable before a whole town of people who've spurned you, all for a man you've never even met. But maybe you understand the importance of dreams like I do. Or maybe you'll do it for me. Oh boy. Um, and who am I to say no to this guy? Sure, you can use the footage. Dude, ah! Uh, Lionel, you have no idea how gnarly it is to... How happy that... Thank you, sincerely! This footage, it's one of a kind. Hell, this footage alone tells a story that I don't think anyone has ever seen before, save you or me. 
Pity it's so short, though. If this was the whole movie, I'd be set content-wise. But alas, movies need to be 40 minutes or longer to even qualify as a feature-length film. I don't know if an indie short film uh, dragged the same crowds that a feature-length movie would. That most certainly is a pickle. Yeah. Say, I've got an idea. Okay, so this is a big thing to us, but... What if you and I got more footage tomorrow, you know? Of you! Of me? Yeah! I know it sounds strange, but... The footage of you that I just got, easily the freshest thing I've filmed yet. It's different, that's for sure. You think people want to see more of me? Absolutely! It's fine if you're not sure yet. You can give me an answer tomorrow. I'd be honored if you're willing, though. Anyway, you find to make your own way home? I can't walk. I just shot five green bowling balls out of my rear end, Oliver. Far too much butt trauma. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, idea. How about we borrow the discarded bike left over there? I pedal and you ride in the basket. That sounds agreeable. Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. Riding on a bike with my sweet, sweet Oliver. Morning. Morning, Lionel. As and shine. Narita, I'm bored. You just woke up. I know, I do this every day. It's boring to me now. You eat roadkill daily. Oh, but that never seems to lose its appeal. Roadkill something cuddly, dear narrator, or I'm a carnivore. I create protein for. <laughs> Roadkill is exciting. It's the thrill of the hunt. You would understand. Oh my god. I'm a carnivore. I crave protein, father. Carnivore, my butt. I've seen you eat like three banana peels in the last four days or so alone. I also crave potassium. Yes. Most people who crave potassium tend to eat the banana meat inside the peels, you know. But the peels are all I tend to find in the dumpster. So, look. If you're so bored... I can't eat roadkill? You can. But you can also do literally anything else, which I strongly recommend doing instead. Like, you can ride a bike. I have the limb coordination of a sentient carrot, but with limbs. I also lack a bicycle. Yeah, that's put a bit of a dampener on the aimless cycling plan. Can you draw? Ah, I like to think of myself as someone of an artist. Last time I tried to draw a buff, I ended up... Uh, slurping up the bath water. I aim to one day draw Bigfoot out in the open. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go for the first option, I guess. A culture beast, a connoisseur of gravels and poisonous berries. Okay, about that. Your gut seems to be accustomed to gravel, but you shouldn't eat every wild berry you find. If I end up living to 35 in human years, then I haven't lived right. I want to feel the wind in my body hair. Sample all the poisonous berries. Right, so uh, doors is out because you will succumb to the temptation of any nearby toxic berries that you happen to saunter past. So, back up pine. Oliver wishes to finish filming his bizarre cinematic opus today. We could always, I don't know, help him do exactly that. I know. What do you most crave from this drab cosmic orb that you're confined to? You know exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> Ew! In that case, this is a no-brainer. Is it? A no-brainer, you say? Oliver's a perf, man. He's a scary little goblin man, and he's clearly into freaky stuff. Most of all, you. You really think so? Like, oh, you really think so? Oh, narrator. Oh my god, narrator. Oh, yeah. I do, unfortunately. And what if he isn't? Hey. If he isn't, and the movie does well, you'll make a killing from royalties. Why, there'll be no, like, there'll be no uh, sex workers too expensive for you to hire. You can even purchase uh, adult fun times from politicians if you feel like betting filth. I love betting literal filth! Heck yeah! Adult fun time pit time! Now, keep in mind, lobbying government cabinet members for depraved corruption. Uh, <laughs> Uh, adult fun times can end badly for both parties. I care not! Betting absolute filth, here I come! And especially avoid betting Dowtown's mayor. Silence, disembodied cricket! 
I've made up my mind. To the cinemas we go. Away. Chapter two. What the? <laughs> oh, man. But that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. Let me know if you want to see a chapter two of this uh, with Oliver's round, I guess. And yeah, um, this was weird. And I love it. I freaking loved it. Anyway, thank you once again for coming in. And I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lionel, signing off. Ciao.